Welcome back to Bathologic 2. Last episode, we went to our father's house, found out they were dead. Once again, we already knew that, of course. And then found out that people are coming to kill us pretty soon. Because word has gotten around that I killed my father. So yeah, uh, I need to take a ferry up to Lara's place very quickly. However, in the meantime, I do want to go to Bad Grief while I'm in the area. Nobody's going to kill me in the warehouses, I think. And I think right when I leave Ruben's apartment, where I'm at right now, I think those two kids are going to be outside saying that somebody's been poisoned. Come help us. I think this is now is when it happened. Is there any other loot here, by the way, Ruben? Oh, shit. I didn't realize that was a door out. Eh, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. So what? Is the asshole still in there? The one with a carpet bag? Yes. Hereby grant you every right to throw something at him, if you so desire. But where's Dr. Reuben? We need a doctor. I'm a doctor. What's the issue? There's been a disaster. Alma, Duke, and Wolfling were poisoned. Where are they? In a warehouse with little flags. Go down the railroad and to the left. You'll see it. Lead the way. I can't. We need to go to a drugstore and find bones and a whistle and a shovel. Or knocking will bite our heads off. You'll find the place on your own. It's easy. Bones, a whistle, and a shovel? For burying the bodies? Right, they're, they're literal dogs, right? Or are they dog children? I, I think someone said they were actual dogs. I thought they were the children who wear the heads of dogs. But then again, they don't really make that distinction. They think they are dogs. Anyway, I know that warehouse. You're the man everybody's after, right? You look like the description. The one and only. Really? Well, whatever. It's good we found you. We need help. What for? We need to hold a trial for a murderer, and we can't do it without you. Will you help? You've got a murderer? Or was it the murderer? It's kind of hard to say. Will you come? Yeah, let's go. The courthouse is a warehouse. The one with the little flags. Hurry up, they're starting soon. Okay. I remember by the time I got there, there was nothing I could do as far as being poisoned. Uh, getting there faster probably isn't going to make any difference at all, I'm pretty sure. But I might as well head there really fast. Yeah, so let's go. Also, let's get the hell out of here before people try to kill me. I don't think they hate me yet. No one cares about you. No one cares about you. Yeah, no one actively hates me just yet, but I've already had, like, the first down tick in my reputation. Oh, there it goes again. I hope these people don't try to kill me. We're cool, right? Yeah. Oh, there's the dude that will sell me the pistol for 3,000. Alright, yeah, we're safe in the warehouses. Look, see everyone? The doctor's here. Who's sick? You're too late. They died. Why didn't you come sooner? What kind of doctor are you? Wow, it took me like 10 or 15 minutes to get here and that's too late? Yeah, I don't think there's any way to be on time. Been asking myself that question all day. The traitor Lika saw you this morning, by the way. How you got off the train and beat those thugs to a pulp? Who's Lika? He killed Duke, Wolfling, and Alma. Nakin will punish him for that. Okay, so we know, in hindsight, that they did do that. 
They did kill them. They did poison those... Dogs? Question mark. And we know that they will not confirm my alibi, so why bother? And not only them, it seems. No way. I'll punish him myself. Knives, scissors, blades, razors, anything sharp. If you've got a sharp axe, I'm interested. How about sharp wit? It can cut deeper than a knife. Those items are what I barter for. We need them. And what would you give me for sharp objects? Lock picking shivs. If you're handy with locks, you can open three or four doors with one. Brand new. And needles. Good for smaller locks. Like locker locks. Well, see you're all experienced burglars here. Broken scissors. Ooh. They trade quite a bit for that. Is there anything I want right now? I guess needles are always a good thing. Always. Guess that's about it, really. Yeah. Catnip. Such a cute name. Thank you. Thank you for actually coming. You're so brave. Look, we all made a gift for you, to welcome you here. See? It's bread. Please don't frown, it's all we can spare. We need to eat too. There's a lot of mouths to feed here. I think I refused to take the bread before. I didn't want to take bread from children even though they were offering it to me. They found it very rude though for me to refuse that. And I mean, food is good. <laughs> food is really good. Maybe I'll take it this time. Thank you. When I get my house back, come visit. I'll return the favor. Sorry it's so stale. And drink the milk fast because it'll go bad soon. But the water's fresh from a ravine. So you kids are all hungry too? Well, yeah. We are on our own after all. All right, thanks for the gift, kids. It sure is timely. Oh, I was expecting bread bread like the full bread, but it's toast. That's fair enough. Full bread is kind of massive and worth a lot. Bit of toast, some milk. That's fantastic, really. Hmm, my hunger is actually quite high. Let's drink the milk because it's so large. bit of hunger left. Mm. Let's eat the toast. Yeah, that's good. And drink some water. Looking good. Food left over, two Kashiks. Wait. HK. No, it's K K H that's pronounced with just an H. Burrah. So this wouldn't be like Kosh. It's Kashik, I think. Because it's HK, not KH. Anyway, two Kashiks, smoked fish, and three smoked meat. Feels really good. I'm just going to stop stockpiling. That's enough food for the rest of the game. <laughs> I know that'll last a day. Put my trust in paw, claw, and whisker. Not you, Drifter. You're here. Good. The trial can begin. Go on. A question first. They say you're no son to old Burrah. He was a doctor. He saved lives. It is said that you kill instead. Is that true? I am a Burrah. Have no doubt. Answer the question, please. Are you a murderer or no? Killing is not necessarily murder. Calm down, no need to get defensive. Or are you uncomfortable doing this in front of my soul and a halves? Aren't you cheeky, boy? Cheeky or not, this isn't a game. We're talking about something important here. I'm all ears. Tell me. 
Is it right to kill? We need to know what you believe. Old Burach wasn't just a doctor to us. He was a teacher. He knew how to live. You say you are his son, so you are to take his place and answer. Is murder acceptable? I think before I answered the top option, right to kill someone who prays in the weak and defenseless, I kind of want to say the bottom one for curiosity's sake, but also wouldn't that be super hypocritical? Do I really think killing is never right? Am I really going to kill no one? I mean, come on, I'm probably going to kill dozens of robbers and stuff. That doesn't feel right. It's right to kill someone who preys on the weak and defenseless, to take revenge against those who deserve it. What's with the frown? You're thinking about your father, aren't you? Yes, I am. So murder can be right sometimes? Who are you planning on killing, boy? It's not about me, but about us. My soul and a halves always hang together. Answer the question. Take your time if you need to. You may very well be choosing our fate. Fine, yes. Sometimes killing is acceptable. Good. We now know the kind of man you are. Here ends the trial. You're free to go. So you know me, huh? That was quick. Guess I should talk to you if I'm ever confused. Oh, look at this. We have so few people on our list. How odd. In toil to be troubled is to have your toil doubled. What? You have your revenge and so do we. We now know how to deal with Leica, or Lika, and that verdict can't be appealed. All you and I have in common now is that today will end soon. Go. Thanks for your help. Wait a second, what did this Lika do anyway? Lika poisoned our friends, who were weak and defenseless. It's an open and shut case. This is absurd. We are soul and a halves. To us, they were not mere dogs, but friends. And we prefer them to people. Agreed. So? Why do you care? L listen, kids. I'll handle this. Where did that come from? He's our problem, not yours. You've done your part. We'll do the rest. You'll put him on guard. I, however, can get the drop on him. Perhaps you could. And then what? If he's as bad as you say, I'll drag him over here. You know what? Give him this leash. He'll understand what it means. Will you do this for us? A leash? Why? Well, he's untrained, so just giving a command won't do. But this leash will do the trick. Just give it to him. Deal? <laughs> he's untrained, need a leash. Oh, that's kind of funny. Sure, I'm intrigued even. We have a deal. Murky says it's by the gumstone. Who's Murky? The girl in the corner. She was the one who told us you were a killer. Did she see me then? She did. But don't bother her. She's frightened as it is. Fine, where do I go? The gumstone. Stepward from the basket. Aren't you supposed to know all this? Or do you step folk have different names for everything? Ah, yeah, the step people call it ur -helu. Hatred. See you around, pups. Good, evil. There's only warm and cold, limber and stiff. Ah, oh, Murky is here. Hey. You will be in my blood soon, and I will protect you. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm safe going over here, too, so... Might as well do that while I'm here as well. Uh, let's go to Bad Grief first, though. Bad Grief is going to say, hey, can you fix up my people? What just happened here? There's a hunt going on looking for a person with my features. Grigori's Reflection. Even in a handcrafted town like this, there is an underground, a rat's nest, at odds with the law. At odds with good morals, people come to them with dubious challenges and requests. Just say it out loud, they're thieves. You know my master, he is your friend, and he hasn't changed much since you last saw him. He's always loved to live on the edge, never was a stickler for rules, but he was never truly vile or cruel. Yet he has changed. He wants to seem a kingpin, a king, a local czar of his own small turf. Wants to seem, not be. Plays a big wheeler dealer. But that's not who he really is. He's just... Playing pretend? Don't make me laugh. Would you like to know what your old friend is truly worried about now? He's playing a dashing scoundrel in front of you, but his soul is trembling. Why? He's worried that blood started to spill now, and it was probably spilled by his men, the people who rubbed shoulders with him, hiding their teeth at first. He's worried you'll think he has it all under control, meaning today's craze is his doing. Isn't it? Perhaps he's partially responsible. Perhaps he did corrupt them with his talk of how any laws but chains that one must break in order to become free and truly human. But he never wanted bloodshed. Keep that in mind. Thanks, Reflection. It's comforting to know. The wench has us all over a barrel. Nothing to be done about it now. Well, look who's entered my humble home. Could that be my pal Art to me, the artist? The Art to me who cuts arteries, maybe? No, I don't recognize this man. Too soft. I must have kept him swaddled and coddled, whatever palace he ran off for. I knew you'd end up like this. End? The end comes when your limbs don't bend. <laughs> and I'm still nimble, friend. You know who folks want to end? You. How come? A little bird told me you're a hard-boiled criminal now. I'll admit, old friend, I got misty-eyed with pride. Lucky for you, I can store you anywhere in the warehouses. And no quail nor nightingale would sing a tune. I'm not some product. You're no fun. Aren't you happy to see an old friend? Oddly enough, I am. Odd indeed. Why so cheery? You're going to help me. You know about my father's death, don't you? I do. May he rest in peace. He was a decent man and the best sawbones around. Do you know who murdered him? Nope. Sniffing the ground ourselves. You didn't think it was one of mine. Listen, we don't cut folks. We honor tradition. Although, there was one fella, Barley. He left our little community a month back and got himself a new one. Now, they do cut folks, but they wouldn't touch your old man. They aren't fools. Seems there must be at least one fool in town. What's the plan, then? Revenge? Or some with a little more finesse? Revenge. Just stay away from Sabarov. I mean it, cub. The man's a hawk. All might makes right no sense. He'll throw you in jail first and only think months later. 
I know your thick skull, too. You charge in their shoulders squared, thinking, Oh, the truth will win out. Bullshit. Stay away. You hear me? Are you finished? Calm down. Many who sleep well speak ill. You run into the old crowd? Stah Reuben? Laura? I've been to Reuben's. He's not home. Gotta say, it's a tough time for our friendship. I mean, if you can even call this friendship. Gravel-hearted Lara won't look at me now, and Stah is even worse. He completely ignored my plea for help. Ah, here we go. You need help? You gone outside recently? It's chaos. Innocent souls torn limb from limb. Everyone's lost their minds hunting the culprit. A step golem, some think. But others? They're after your hide, friend. All this going on, naturally, my men ran into a mob. Barely got out alive. They need a sawbones bad. Your old man's gone, and a star student, Stah, won't take the job, so... My men ran into a mob. It probably was that fight in the alleyway that we saw. Those two people, I'm pretty sure those were the two assholes. Something tells me your men weren't out there feeding the poor. Hell if I know. Can't make heads or tails of them now. And if you squint, piecework does kind of resemble you. A sturdy man. Perhaps he did take a few hits to the noggin in your stead. How do you feel about that? I could look at piecework. Where is he? Not here. Shiner dropped by, said they're waiting for death in a hideout. Poor piecework. He's knocking on heaven's door. Got something stuck in the belly. Can you believe, folks? They're all shapeshifters, I swear. Shedding skin and eating each other. May not look it, but every person in this town has a vile beast inside. I'll use this scalpel you just had lying around, then. Wonderful. You find anything in his belly he doesn't need, don't toss it. Bring it to me. Might be useful. <laughs> what, like a memento? You're still a weird one. Bread in the bone, I suppose. Look at how much stuff I have. I wonder if I'm actually going to give this leash to Lika. Because if I keep it, I can use it to get Schmouter. But then there's a lot of other opportunities to get Schmouter, I think. I think. Maybe not a lot, but some others. What's happened? Need to find the people who still remember me, who will believe me without proof, who can vouch for me. When the grief's boys got stabbed, I promised to take a look at his wounded belly. Just gotta remember to bring a scalpel. Okay, over to Lika, and then we need to go to Lars' place. I can't believe I've done all this, and it's only 10.25 in the morning. I think time is going slower. Right, because didn't it speed up at some point? I'm not sure if that's because I died, or just because that happens later on. It's probably because I died. Yeah, time really feels like it's going slower. I don't know, maybe just because I know what I'm doing, so everything gets done a lot quicker. Am I hearing, like, thunder? Or distant wind, or is that something else? The worst is yet to come. Look at you. Feeling better. 
but the town's not too welcoming, is it? Don't worry, the step is wide. It can hide anyone. What brings you here? I am feeling better. Thanks for helping me back there. You're welcome. I tell you, scratch my back and I'll scratch yours, but I'm not the type to demand back scratching back. <laughs> so what do you want? Need another wound dressed? Who are you, kid? Why do you ask? Tell me straight. Were you the one who poisoned the dogs? All lies. I'm a good, kind soul. Yeah, that's a lie. Explain yourself. The soul and the halves are the real punks, and Nakin is the worst. And punks deserve to suffer, right? But you can't hurt them. They just wipe the blood away and keep going. So you need to hit them where it does hurt. Right in the heart. Make them see how it feels. Hit them where it hurts, huh? I think they were right. This world doesn't need people like you. No, no, spare me. We're friends, I helped you out, didn't I? You owe me. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Let me go. Maybe I could be useful to you. Okay, yeah, this time I'm going to give them the leash. I think before... I did one of these other options. I definitely did not give them the leash. I also owe it to the boys to do the right thing. So here, have this. A gift from them. Hmm. Some things aren't bound to happen. I wonder what that's for. The dog killer is the dog head who saw me at dawn. He could testify to my alibi. But I gave knock in my word. The murderer will be tried. Yeah, I'm curious what that does to uh, me and Notkin's relationship. It didn't... Like, when I let them go, it didn't seem to make Notkin that angry. They were a bit flabbergasted, but it seems like they forgave me. Hmm, okay. I guess I should go back here, huh? Alright. Gotta go back there anyway. To get to the boat. There's a back entrance in here. That'll be faster. Oh, is that Lika back there? Hide and seek, tag, hopscotch. Or we might as well play ring around the rosies. Jester thinks you're a decent sort, and he's not the only one. So, behold, we solemnly grant you this leash. It means you're always welcome here, and that you may even get your own half one day. Not everyone does. I think it's at this point, like, I think this happened before, but then I told them the truth. I'm like, uh, actually, hold on. I kind of, kind of screwed you over a bit, and I just was very honest. But this time, I can accept this without any worries. What did you do to the boy? We didn't kill him, as you can see. Good. So instead, you... We took a trip underground. Deep. What? Folk don't dig pits in the town. This I know. Has something changed? Nothing has changed. But there is at least one pit. Has someone gone mad? Where is it? Come on, are you serious? Those are old wives' tales. Where is it? Where is the pit? I, I can't say. I gave my word. Whoever dug it will be very sorry. Now, look. See Murky? There she broods. She saw you get off the train this morning. Saw as you got attacked. Saw everything. But she doesn't talk much. And I think few grown-ups would believe her. It's better than nothing, though. 
Oh, I love this option. I'd rather not drag an orphan girl into it. This business is murky enough as it is. But um, tsh. Thank you. I'll have a word with her. All right, yeah, I think this has really affected our relationship for the better with the Solana halves. I mean, certainly, Notkin and the Solana halves didn't hate me by any means. It seemed like they liked me by the end of the game, but I think they like me more now. What have they done to him? Do I really want to know? What matters is I think I have new allies now. Are they talking about young Vlad's well? What other pit is there? And also, why would they take him underground? What would that do? That's really creepy. When the cat's away, the mice will play. First, stay, then play. So they didn't hurt you after all? You friend? Outsiders, beware. What? How am I an outsider? I'm local and we've met. Don't touch. Bad boy. Bad boy. No, you're a good boy. Keep up the good work. What the fuck did they do to him? Granny is feeling better now. She's breathing less already. What? I don't think that's how that works, Murky. Go away. I saw everything. No one saw me, but I did. Why do you want me to go away? I don't. What? Did you see the fight? What is there about you to love? Nothing. So I don't. That's all right. You don't have to love me. I don't need you. Nuh uh. Things were great without you. Great. I need you, though, so don't go anywhere, all right? Trade with you, right? Ooh, shoes and clothes. I can actually probably get something. Let's just like throw in all the scrap names and marbles and chalk, I suppose. I can get shoes. Or needles. Hmm. Hmm. I want more shoes or needles. I don't think the shoes are really going to be helpful at all until the infection comes. Nah, let's get the shoes. Okay, now time to go to Lara's. Probably not much of a reason to talk to this dude. You're being hunted, you'll need a weapon. Pushing me in the direction of bloodshed, huh? Like you needed pushing. Hmm, thanks. I'm just gonna kinda go through this peaceful my ass. Why can't you just give it to me? Oh, they used to work in pickling and the factory stopped working today. So that's why they're trying to make money. Okay, 3,000. They're in bloom now, the medicinal herbs. Merchants of the Broken Heart would give you a decent price for them. Okay. I was wondering if the herbs exist yet, because I haven't actually seen any yet. Yeah, I can drop them off of the Broken Heart, except I think it's closed. It's not even marked on the map yet, so... Nah. 
Plus, I don't really have room. Yeah, let's go. Toenails, sure, sorry. Uh-huh. Travel by boat. My one and only fingernail. The flank. You're hated here. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. You're the one who teaches me to listen to Mother Bodo. Stand still, Yorgachin. Can you hear it? I guess I'll go through this pretty fast. Yorgachin means a butcher. What makes you think I am one? I can barely remember a tongue. Wait for what? All right, I'm standing still. Oh, don't they give me their blood to use here? No, uh, let my blood feed the earth, yeah. What for? Okay. Thank you. Come back tomorrow, feed her more blood, reap more herbs. By Arte, Pasagan. What are you prompting me about? Ah, dead tired. Means you need some sleep. Uh huh, thanks. Do they give me something? Or just a guide? Yeah, just reminding me to sleep. How's my exhaustion, by the way? It's fine, I'm only at like halfway. I'm curious if I can go to the cache points before the children have told me about the caches. Yeah. Remember, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to take anything, or very little if I do. I'm just going to leave stuff because I want to be on their good side, so here's a beetle. I hope that beetle's gonna be okay in there. Is it gonna have enough air? 